the famous, fabulous Carla De Luca. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, Jean-Charles, thank you so much. I want everybody to realize how much of a wine expert you are. And as you describe it, because this was the official wine we serve together at this wonderful event honoring your film. Oh, this is so rich, Jean-Charles. I, I never have professed to be an expert. That is your area. What I can say is I, I know what I like, and this is, this is certainly delicious and, and special. I think it has, um, the Buena Vista wines have a special earthy quality and terroir quality. I also think it has a, a wonderful um, brightness and, and mineral quality. And I think it's so complimentary to so many foods. Absolutely, I will toast to that to you. <laughs> you know, we selected that Zinfandel because where is the origin of Zinfandel? Is it Croatia or is it Northern Italy? It's funny you mention it because we hadn't talked about uh, this in any recent discussion, but I was thinking about that too. I don't know the answer. I know that there are roots that go back to both those cultures. It's fascinating. And, and one of the things I think about Buena Vista that was so interesting to me in learning the history is how the, the count gathered such varietals across Europe, bringing them back to try them in the vineyards to see what would be effective in California. And, you know, it's, it's really phenomenal as, um, you know, an effort. Um, and I think it's through efforts like that that led to our understanding of what grows well here and helped to develop the modern wine industry. His name is Kent Rathmus. He is one of the best chefs that the United States have ever seen. Hello, thank you so much. And I am so excited to be here and I cannot wait to get started. <laughs> I'm gonna serve some Pinot because, you know, we need a little bit of red as well as you oh, tempt us with red wine. Oof. So I'm serving one of our wines and wineries in Sonoma, you have not seen them, Wattle Creek. And it's a beautiful transformative label. This is that great label, which is all butterflies. And it's a Pinot Noir that I just want you to see. And not yet with the meat. I think with the meat, we have a Cabernet as well, which will be richer, denser, more opulent and powerful, which will go very well with, with the food. But just as a lighter version of red, just to engage ourselves, I'm toasting to you and your beautiful demonstration there. I'm going to take a little, little bite of that. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm going to take a bite of the wine then. <laughs> Go for it. Because we got to let it rest too. It's like beef. If you open a bottle of wine, wait 30, 45 minutes sometimes. Oh, isn't it amazing? Only... Isn't it amazing the similarities in wine and food? Well, the next one is the Cabernet from Alexander Valley. So I think it will go very well because of the blue cheese and the 2016 vintage. So we purposely today wanted to feature as well a wine with a little bit of bottle, as we say, a little bit of age. So four years is, is a perfect amount for that soft, you know, minty, uh, ethereal, and lightly oaked. So I think the two together would be magical. How is it? Very good. <laughs> so dear friends, I'm delighted to bring a true American, a powerful woman. All of you ladies, get hold of Maureen Cunningham. She is insanely fabulous and contagiously talented. Maureen, would you come? The cork is coming out. Yes, yes, yes. The cork is, ah, oh, look at this. Mine just went all over the floor as well. Well, Cheers. it's a good sign. You know, Maureen, what we say in France, if it goes on your legs, on your body, all over your body, it's a sign of love and continuous passion. Ooh la la. And it serves us right. We're drinking uh, 69, JCB 69. So talking about that, we got to pour the next wine because starting with JCB 69 is never enough. Okay. Let's go to the oldest winery in California, which is, I believe without making any other vintners jealous, one of your favorite, of course. Well, of course. <laughs> and it was our favorite together 
before we were born because this is the beginning of California. The birthplace of California wine. And we try to find something of a wine as unique and old as your family ranch is. And it was difficult because you really started California. You're part of the founding families of this amazing place. So why don't you describe this very unusual grape variety from Buena Vista, which is really the history of our fantastic Sonoma Valley and Napa, as we know. So this is a Roussan. What do you think of that wine? Uh, well, goodness. <laughs> I think the wine is fabulous. Let me smell it a little bit. Ooh. It feels, um, well, first of all, it's delicious. And that's always the most important thing. Yeah. Um, it feels very um, golden and beautiful on the mouth. I, um, know, I would want to have it with avocado with a lemon sauce. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fabulous. What a beautiful pairing that would be. Dear friends, what we're having is the Vinicultural Society, a very unique wine for Buena Vista, which is part of the tiny collection of small lots we produce. And as I'm serving, by the way, another wine. Okay. It's all about sweetness now. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep up with you here. It's all about late harvest. So yes. we're gonna try a wine of very much the season. Isn't it a cute bottle, by the way? It is. And can you pronounce the name? Because it's going to sound so much more beautiful. Well, I'm not sure, but I, it means loveliness and marvelous and beauty in French. Named Jolies. Jolies. Beautiful. Jolie as jolie, beautiful. Jolies means that very petite, beautiful vision. First of all, this is a beautiful wine, of course. I smell a lot of citrus a little bit, uh, maybe some some pineapple, um, beautiful. Again, that honeysuckle kind of coming through yeah. and really bright uh, for a late harvest um, and beautiful. It, I could drink it all day right now. <laughs> In fact, maybe we should do that. Uh, so beautiful wine. Thank you for sharing it with me. And of course, um, from a Sonoma Valley vineyard, which we love. Thank you so much for being with us. Cheers, John Charles. Thank you so much. And happy holidays and to the Vintners and the Growers Alliance. We have the best director ever. Oh, thank you, John Charles. Cheers. <laughs>